At last, the first comprehensive, easy-to-follow, step-by-step home hair care video to help end those frustrating moments when trying to achieve that professional look you got at the beauty salon. Now you can learn these styling secrets to keep you and your hair looking your absolute best. Thanks to Danny Larry with 11 years experience in the beauty profession, achieving recognition as an award-winning stylist and salon owner. Well known for developing and producing the successful annual West Coast Beauty Hairdressers Ball and Trade Show. As an educator, Danny created this video to show you those simple styling secrets that will always give you that fresh, professional salon look. Hello, my name is Danny Larry, owner of West Coast Beauty. Have you ever visited your hairstylist and he or she gave you exactly what you wanted? Body, bounce, and sheen? But the problem started the next day. You couldn't quite get your hair to look the way it did the day before. You don't know what products your stylist used, you don't know what tools your stylist used, or how he or she used those tools to achieve that look. After spending lots of time as well as money, this can become very discouraging. That's why I've created this comprehensive video to show you exactly how to save time and money through simple, step-by-step, easy-to-follow styling methods. Before we can start styling our hair, we must start with clean, conditioned hair. Before shampooing the hair, it's a good idea to comb through it to remove any tangles that will prevent any breakage you might have. When shampooing, make sure your water is a warm temperature. And there's basically two different types of shampoos that's really important for you to remember. One is a protein shampoo that will be used on hair that is breaking and damaged. The other is a moisturizing shampoo when your hair is dry and brittle. It's a good idea to shampoo twice. Once to remove any surface oils, buildup of hairsprays and gels. The second is to actually clean the hair and the scalp. When shampooing, make sure you don't use your fingernails. You want to use the palms of your fingertips. Make sure you remove all the soap out of the hair. Shampooing is very important because it's your foundation for a beautiful style. Sonia's hair has been colored. So we use a moisturizing shampoo, and now we're about to use a moisturizing conditioner. When applying the conditioner at home, make sure you get it on the hairline and work it throughout the hair. Once you have applied it, comb through with a large tooth comb. It's a good idea to condition the hair while washing the rest of your body in the shower. The steam will act as the heat to drive the moisturizing conditioner um, inside the hair shaft. Once you've combed it through, put a plastic bag on and let it sit for about 10 minutes. Now that you've conditioned your hair, the next step, you want to put a leave-in conditioner if you have any color or any chemical service. When applying the leave-in conditioner again, make sure you work it throughout the whole scalp. And it's a good time to also use a moisture retainer on your hair. The moisture retainer will keep the moisture inside the hair shaft that you just put in. 
Sonya is going to be getting a wrap hairstyle today. So you want to use a wrapping lotion. And you want to get it well saturated. Once you have your hair well saturated, comb through with the large tooth comb. Okay, once you've combed through the hair with the large tooth comb, then you want to evenly distribute the hair from the crown area, which is the top center of the head. A wrap hairstyle is very versatile. It's a good hairstyle to use if your hair is breaking, damaged. It also can be styled many different ways. So once you evenly distribute the hair from the center of the head, it should look like so. Okay, once the hair is combed down evenly, you want to make your pivoting part. Again, this hairstyle is really good for home use because you can, it's very versatile. You can get five, six, seven different styles out of this one set. You want to mold the hair from the center part going around the head making sure that the top portion does not move. This hairstyle is also really easy to do at home because you can use a tabletop hair dryer if you have one. If you don't have one, you can always use um, a handheld blow dryer. The important thing is make sure that when you dry the hair, it's 100% dry. Any moisture will kill the hairstyle. Because we're going to be styling our model's hair forward, you want to bring the mold forward on her face. Like so. One last step to this hairstyle is the molding of the back. This is when you want to use your gel. Put it on the nape of the neck. And then just lay it down. Nice and smooth. Now let's review this wrap hairstyle. First, it's combed down towards the face evenly from the center point. After you've established that center point, you want to make your side part and wrap the hair in a counterclockwise motion. Remember, this hairstyle is really good for the professional lady on the go. At night before you go to bed, you can wrap your hair up. Um, sit under a warm dryer if you have a tabletop type. For short hair, 45 minutes. Long hair, from an hour to an hour and a half. 
Um, this hairstyle is very versatile because you can wear it uh, down, play it in the morning for work, and in the evening uh, to uplift that hairstyle. You can do quite a few different things with it that I'll be showing you in my styling. Now that our model's hair is dry, we want to use the oil sheen to soften up the mold that we've just dried in there. Spray your oil sheen of the entire head and just sort of mold it in in the same circular motion that the hair was set and dried in. Once we've got our oil sheen on the hair, you want to just comb it in the direction that you molded earlier or brush it. Notice the natural sheen that's on her hair. Again, the wrap is really good for you ladies at home because it's very simple, easy to do, easy to maintain, and you can get many looks out of this one set style. Okay, now that you've combed your mold out, comb it into the direction in which you're gonna be curling it. That's a very important part, ladies at home, is always comb your hairstyles in the direction in which you will be styling it. Sonia's hair will be styled for fullness. So in our curling process, we wanna start curling her hair in the very top. The reason you wanna start curling the hair in the very top is because it's easier for you to curl the rest of the hair. If you style it, start styling at the bottom or curling at the bottom, you have the hair on top that will interfere. And again, ladies, being that the style is coming towards her face with fullness, we want to curl it towards her face and for fullness. The way you'd achieve that is hold the hair straight out from the center of the head, controlling the ends. Again, check those curling irons. Take the curling iron and run it up the hair shaft, only curling the very top of the hair. The reason you wanna only curl the top of the hair is because you're curling for volume. Notice how the hair now stands up for volume. You want to continue your curling motion like a pie shaping, like so, like so, like so. Notice how her hair is pivoting from this point in a pie shaping coming towards her face, still curled with height. I'm not curling all the way down to the scalp because that would create curl. We want direction and height. When you're curling the hair also, another important, important thing to remember is to brick layer the hair when curling. What I mean by brick layering is don't make all of your curls one row going straight down this way, straight down that way. You want to stagger your curls. Notice Sonia's hair, the direction has been curled. All the curls are coming towards her face. Even in the back, the hair is slanted coming towards her face except for the very center, it's coming straight down. Also with this style, we left the very hairline straight to complement the look. Her hair was curled with um, a pomade to keep the hair nice and shiny for direction. We also use a little spritz after we finish curling her hair because when we comb it out, we don't want to lose our mold. Now we're ready for our comb out. In the comb out of this hairstyle, you want to use a large tooth comb. For example, um, this one or this one. And in the finished look, you want to use a claw comb. Now in the comb out, you don't want to take a brush and brush through the whole hair. Just sort of go over the top of the hair with the large tooth comb. 
directing here. And ladies, remember, this is a good time to use that spritz on your hair. And if um, something don't fall in place the way you like it, just pull the hair in that place and use your spritz. You can actually finger comb this hairstyle because you want to accentuate the direction that you have going. This hairstyle is really good for the ladies, the young ladies who like to go out on the town and look as fashionable as possible with low maintenance. At night, you want to wrap this hairstyle up in a silk cloth so your head won't move around on the pillowcase and destroy the style. And that way, when you get up in the morning, you can take the scarf off and lift your hair up and just comb it in place. A few um, home hair care tips with this hairstyle is to use your fingers. You can get the best look possible just by using your fingers and a little spritz. And also, take a brush and just brush the sides that you didn't curl down so it can hug the face to give the silhouette a nice, consistent, even flow. Once your style is finished, spray with a small mist of oil sheen. Check for balance. And there's your finished style. My second model is Karina. Karina's hair has already been shampooed and conditioned. As you can see, she has long hair. This style is exceptionally good for the lady with long hair who don't have a lot of time, you have a lot of children at home, or you have a job that requires you to be there early in the morning. Before I blow dried her hair, I used a blow drying lotion that would give it the softness and the body. Apply the blow drying lotion to the top of the hair as well as underneath and comb it through. This is very important. Once you have combed the blow drying lotion through, then comb the hair in the direction in which you're going to be blow drying it. Once you start blow drying, hold the hair out from the scalp and make sure you blow dry through the ends. This is very important for consistency. After you've blow dried this section, blow dry underneath the hair. You want to make sure that you get the hair 100% dry. After blow drying, your hair should be in the mold in which the finished look will reflect. Before actually curling the hair, you want to use a little bit of hair and scalp conditioner. This will protect the hair from the heat, as well as put a nice sheen on the hair. When using your hair and scalp conditioner, rub it in your hands really well, and make sure that all the hair strands get hair and scalp conditioner on it. A big mistake that a lot of you ladies make at home, I've noticed, is you'll start here and then all the product will end up in the top of the head. Please don't make that mistake. Once you've applied the hair and scalp conditioner, comb it through. Now you can proceed with your curling. 
It's a good idea when you start your curling to start in the back of the head. You want to start with sections. Okay, we start the curling in the back. A good idea is to make small sections and clip the top hair out of the way so you can have a nice clean line for curling. Before curling the hair, you want to check the heat of the irons because this is the reason for a lot of breakage. Put the irons on a white paper towel. If you see any brown marks, that means the iron is too hot. Take your curling iron at home and run it down the hair shaft and controlling the ends of the hair and only turning the very ends. That's going to give your hair that nice little turn at the bottom down there. And once you've curled it, leave it. Let it cool and go to your next sec section. You want to continue this sectioning of the hair all the way to the top. Bring the hair down, comb through it, and silk. Take your curling iron, controlling the ends, turning it under. Now, ladies at home might notice when you use your curling irons, you will stop the motion of your iron. What that will create is indentations in the hair shaft. And you continue that same motion around to the side of the hair. Sectioning it off, starting at the bottom, Flipping your top hair up. If this gets a little difficult for you, you can ask your husband or your friend to help you out until you get the feel of it. Comb your hair down, silk it while controlling the ends, and turn just the very ends under. This hairstyle is easily maintained um, at night when you're at home before you go to bed. You can take a few rollers and put it on the ends of your hair. You don't want to roll it up all the way to the scalp, just on the ends, so you can have that bend in the morning when you get up for work. Now that we've finished the back, you want to move around to the sides using the same methods that we used in the back, and that is silking the hair, controlling the ends, and turning the hair at the very end for effect. Remember to work your way to the top of the hair. Home through that section. Again, silking the top of the hair. That's going to make that hair nice and smooth and give it body. And controlling the ends while turning just the very end. This is very important for that body that your lady's looking for at home. Notice how it nicely tucks under at the bottom. Now that we've finished curling our back section, we've moved around to the side. Notice that our hair is staggered in the front. Because of that, we want to angle our curling irons where we can curl with that angle of her natural hair. So you want to hold the hair forward, like so, using your silking technique, controlling the ends, and turning the hair under. It's 
So when you comb the hair, it fits the form of the cut. Now we're going to work the top section of our model's hair. Because Karina is a little short, like a lot of you ladies at home, you want to put, sometimes use a height in the top that would give you the illusion of being a little taller. So to create that effect, you want to put about three different curls in the top of your hair using a large iron for volume. Section the hair off in small sections. Hold the hair out straight from the scalp. Controlling the ends are very important because if you don't, you will get fish hooks. Again, you want to silk the hair. Whenever you curl it, you want to silk it. Take your curling iron and just run it through the total shaft of that hair. That's going to give it a real nice texture. Come back for the second time, controlling the ends, and just turn it. Watch how my fingers turn this curling iron. Once you finish your curling, you want to let it sit and cool off. You want to do that a couple more times. Section the hair off in small sections, holding it straight up from the head. Silk your hair, controlling the ends. and go through it for a second time. Using the same type of curling technique pattern that you did for your first curl. You don't want to curl all the way down to the scalp because that'll give you a, a curl. You want direction and height. Remember, direction and height, you want to curl just the top of the hair. Okay, now we're in the bang area of our model's hair. And in the bang area, we just want to put a slight bend on the end. Also for effect and for texture. You want to silk the, even these little fringe areas also so it can blend with the rest of the hair. Okay. Once the bang area has been curled, the finished look before combing out should look like so. Remember, when we curl the top, we only curl the very top of this, of the hair for volume. Also, controlling the ends to prevent fish hooks. Fish hooks, you will notice when the hair is not perfectly curled like this. It'll kick out the opposite way and it will ruin your hairstyle. Now for the comb out. The comb out is very simple. You want to take a brush and brush over the curls that you've made, just smoothing it out, giving it a nice texture, and use your hands and just push the hair forward. And you want to start your molding. This is a good time to use hair holding spray. Your hair holding spray will give your hair, will keep that look that you've just created and hold it there. 
You can use your hairspray on your rest of your hair to smooth it. And any of those small imperfections will just lie right in. A real good tip to use on your bangs is take a little hairspray and just spray it on the tips of your fingers. And just separate the bangs to give it a little wispier look. I'm sure some of you ladies don't like the hard bang look, so you can soften it with this technique. This is our finished hairstyle. It's great for the lady on the go for the professional woman, or even the housewife. My next model is Roxanne. As you can see, Roxanne has long hair. Her hair has been shampooed and conditioned already. One thing I want to tell you about Roxanne is, uh, like you, a lot of you ladies at home, she came from a curl into a relaxer. Uh, the important thing about that is to condition your hair every two weeks until you get the strength back into it. Her hair was blow dry in the direction that I will be curling it, which is off her face. Her bang area is combed down, and she will be curled for height in the top. When I was blow drying her hair, I used a blow drying lotion to protect her ends, again, because she came out of the curl. We start curling Roxanne's hair in the back. Before we start making our first curl, again, it's very important to check the heat of the iron to make sure you don't burn the hair. Put the iron on a white cloth. If you see any brown spots, you know that the iron is too hot. Now that you're ready to start curling, make small sections starting in the back. You want to start curling the bottom hair, clipping the top hair up so it can be out of your way. Once you have that section in your hand, you want to use your silking technique. That's running the iron on the top of the hair, controlling the ends, and turning the very ends under for effect. You want to repeat that process all the way to the top or the crown of the hair. And you want to start your next section using the same technique. Start curling at the bottom, clipping up your top hair. Silk the top of the hair, controlling the ends, and just curl the ends of the hair for effect. Watch my fingers, how they turn the iron. and work your way to the top. Okay, now we've finished curling the back and the sides of our model's hair. Because her hair will be styled going behind her ear, notice how it's been curled behind her ear. Same with the other side. Now let's curl the top. Roxanne is a tall model, so we want to curl the top for more direction than height. We part the hair in the direction in which we're going to curl it. 
Again, you want to use your silking technique with your curling. Don't forget to check the irons for heat. You don't want to burn the hair. And curl just the top, making sure you don't create fish hooks. Remember in our last model, I was saying how fish hooks curl the opposite direction in which your natural curls do. You want to make about two partings, and you want to curl the hair in the same direction in which you parted. Controlling the ends of the hair. And after you curl, let it cool. Once the hair is cool, just comb it back and in with the rest of your hair. You're texturizing it, giving it a smooth texture, allowing the hair to flow. And then you want to give it a slight push as you comb. Remember, push as you comb is the technique. Once you've pushed the hair, then you want to start arranging the style. Using your spritz to control the mold that you've just created. Now for you ladies with breaking and damaged hair, you don't want to use spritz because it's very drying to the hair and it will just allow the hair to break even more. Now we're working on the bang section. For the bang section, we want to just turn the ends under for effect. Again, checking the heat of your irons. You don't want to burn the hair. And just turning the ends under. Notice how I put my fingers between the curling iron and her forehead. A lot of you ladies at home, I'm sure, as you know, burn your forehead. This will prevent that from happening. We want to do the same thing to the other side. A few styling tips to make this complete hairstyle even more glamorous is the use of gels and glazes. Just use a little gel around the hairline. This is really great if you need a touch up and you have about a week to go. Just put a little gel on the hairline. This will give the hair on the hairline texture. And what's really interesting, you can use something as simple as a toothbrush and just comb your hairline back for blending. Notice how smooth it made the side of her hair. Also, again, as I showed you in the last style, is you can use your spritz. The spritz is used to create twists in the front and softens. And also use your spritz as a finishing mist to mold any hairs out of place and to give it the completeness. The finished look of our model. My next model is Amy. Amy's hair has already been shampooed and conditioned. Ladies, hair color is really big in the 90s. So a lot of times, hair color can dry the hair out. So that's when you need a good reconstructor, shampoo, and conditioner to use on the hair. This hairstyle is called a freeze curl, where we are using a pomade to hold the mold or the curl of the hair and using spritz to keep the mold. Notice how the side has been blow dried for direction going back on the side. Smoothness. We start our curling on the side 
and work our way over to the other side. Now that we're ready to curl Amy's hair, because this is a freeze curl, we want to use a pomade that will hold those curls. Rub the pomade in your hand so you can get a nice, good distribution when you apply it to the hair. And remember, don't put it on the top of the hair and come down because most of your pomade will be concentrated in this area and these areas won't have anything on it. So apply it to the hair all over. You want to use a considerable amount because this hairstyle requires quite a bit of pomade. You're using it for sheen, you're using it for direction, and you're using it for consistency of the curl. Once you've applied your pomade, you want to go back through the hair, just a little spritz. You don't want to oversaturate. The spritz is going to also help your curls to maintain its consistency. And comb it through in the direction in which you're going to curl the hair. Now we're ready to curl. But before we start curling the hair, remember, check your irons for overheating. Remember, overheating can be very damaging to the hair. It can actually break the hair off. No brown spots, you're ready to curl. We start our curling on the right side of our model's head and work towards the left. In this particular hairstyle, we'll be using three different sizes of irons. The small, the medium, and the large. We start our curling on the side. Holding the hair up, controlling the ends, and we want to give it a tight curl. This time you want to go halfway down to the scalp. And leave it. Okay, as you're moving over to the right hand side, you'll notice the hair getting longer as we move over. So that's also the time to use a larger iron size. The shorter the hair, the smaller the iron, the longer the hair, the larger the iron. Notice the direction in which the curls are flowing in Amy's hair. They're flowing from her left side to the right. The curls are getting longer as they go towards the front. Ladies, this is very simple to do at home. Just remember to use your pomades and your spritz. Now that we've moved down to the bottom of our hairstyle, I want to give you a little tip on curling. To protect those ears, put the comb in between the hair and the ear. Lay your curling iron in and go ahead and curl the hair down. This will ensure you from burning your ears. Now we're ready for our comb out. We're going to use just a little more spritz for holding this style in place. When combing this hairstyle, you don't want to comb out all the curls. You want to accentuate the curls that you've created with the large tooth comb. You also want to comb the hairstyle in the direction in which you've curled it. This hairstyle is very, very simple to maintain. At night, you want to use a silk scarf. Uh, you want to use just a little moisturizer on your hair so when you wake up in the morning, it'll still have that freshly curled look. Again, if your hair has been colored, you want to use some type of leave-in re reconstructing conditioner to reinforce that hair from breakage. We finished our model, Amy. Her hairstyle reflects the style of the 90s 
a lady of the 90s, on the go, whether it's on the town or in the workplace, Amy. Our last model is Vivian. Vivian's hair has been shampooed with a protein shampoo and a protein conditioner. Vivian's hair has a definite, unique cut to it. And one of the reasons we did that was because she had slight breakage. So ladies, if you have breakage at home, work with that breakage and make that cut work for you. We've started curling Vivian's hair from the bottom, working our way to the top. Once we reach the top, we only want to curl the ends for effect. Working our way around to the sides, we want to silk the hair. Remember, silking the hair is running the iron over the top, controlling the ends, and slightly bumping the ends under. Now that we've finished the back and sides of Vivian's hair, notice how her bob is nicely curled around the edges, blending into the back. So ladies, that breakage don't have to look like breakage. It can look like the look that you've always wanted. Now let's start curling the top. In the top, we're gonna to do something a little different. We're gonna use freeze curls up top. What do I mean by freeze curls? Freeze curls is curls that are made with pomade and spritz to create a perfect, definite curl pattern. We wanna start in the top. Vivian is a short model, so we wanna curl her for height. We comb the hair up. Now we're ready for curling. This time we want to use just enough pomade to saturate the hair and a little spritz. Now we're going to do this with each individual curl. Curl the hair on the ends, controlling the ends, making sure we don't have fish hooks. Remember, fish hooks are curls that are not going with the regular pattern of the curl. We want to keep our same curling pattern all the way to the front, using the pomade and the spritz. Remember, when using the pomade, you only want to use a little bit, just on your fingertips, to saturate the hair. Also, a little bit of spritz. You don't want to overspray. and curl. Start at the bottom to silk the hair, bring it all the way to the ends, controlling the ends of the hair, and curling the ends under, making a complete curl. Now that we've finished curling the top of Vivian's hair, we're working our way around to the bang area. Remember, ladies, this style is really easy to do at home, and it's great for breaking damaged hair. We're going to tie in the bang area with the sides. Remember, ladies, hold your fingers between the curling iron and the forehead to protect it from heat. Now that Vivian's hair is curled, we'll comb it out now. Again, when combing out this hairstyle in the top, we want to use a wide tooth comb. Whenever you're combing hair that has been freeze curled, you don't want to comb all the curls out. That's very important to remember. While combing the hair, use the fingertips to place any hair that's out of place in place and use your spritz to help you. The spritz will ensure the height and the mold that you've placed in there stays.
Now you want to work your way around to the back. Just mold the hair into the bob that you've created with smoothness. Now that we've finished combing the front, we want to comb the back for smoothness. This is a great time to use your spritz also. We want to use the spritz to ensure smoothness and consistency in the hairstyle. Our finished look, excellent for the lady with damaged breaking hair who wants to be a part of the 90s. Ladies, after viewing this videotape, you have learned several styling techniques and tips to maintain that salon look. I've shown you five exciting, easy-to-do hairstyles that will have you looking your best at work or at play. Remember, ladies, this tape was made for you, so review it as many times as necessary so you can have that beauty salon look every day.